Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study, metals for casting, the ferrous and non-ferrous casting alloys. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Metals for casting. Most commercial castings are made of alloys rather than pure metals. Alloys are generally easier to cast, and the properties of the resulting product are better. Casting alloys can be classified as ferrous, steel and cast iron, and non-ferrous. The ferrous casting alloys. Cast iron is the most important of all casting alloys. The tonnage of cast iron castings is several times that of all other metals combined. There are several types of cast iron. Grey cast iron. Nodular iron. White cast iron. Malleable iron. Typical pouring temperatures for cast iron are around 1400 degrees Celsius, depending on composition. Steel. The mechanical properties of steel make it an attractive engineering material, and the capability to create complex geometries makes casting an appealing process. However, great difficulties are faced by the foundry specializing in steel. The melting point of steel is considerably higher than for most other metals that are commonly cast. The solidification range for low carbon steels begins at 1540 degrees Celsius. The pouring temperature required for steel is very high, which is about 1650 degrees Celsius. Due to high pouring temperature, steel readily oxidizes, so special procedures must be used during melting and pouring to isolate the molten metal from air. Molten steel has relatively poor fluidity, and this limits the design of thin sections in components cast out of steel. However, Several characteristics of steel castings make it worth the effort to solve these problems. Tensile strength is higher than for most other casting metals, ranging upward from about 410 MPa. Steel castings have better toughness than most other casting alloys. The properties of steel castings are isotropic, strength is virtually the same in all directions. Steel castings can be readily welded without significant loss of strength. The non-ferrous casting alloys. Aluminum alloys. Aluminum alloys are generally considered to be very castable. The melting point of pure aluminum is 660 degrees Celsius, so pouring temperatures for aluminum casting alloys are low compared to cast iron and steel. Their properties make them attractive for castings, lightweight, wide range of strength properties attainable through heat treatment, and ease of machining. Magnesium alloys. Magnesium alloys are the lightest of all casting metals. Other properties include corrosion resistance, as well as high strength to weight and stiffness to weight ratios. Copper alloys include bronze, copper tin, brass, copper zinc, and aluminum bronze. Good corrosion resistance. Attractive appearance. Good bearing, strength, properties. However, the high cost of copper is a limitation on the use of its alloys. Tin-based alloys are easy to cast and they have good corrosion resistance. However, they have poor mechanical strength. Zinc alloys. Zinc alloys are commonly used in die casting. Low melting point and good fluidity, making it highly castable. Its major weakness is low creep strength, so its castings cannot be subjected to prolonged high stresses. Nickel alloys. Nickel alloys have good hot strength and corrosion resistance, which make them suited to high temperature applications, for example jet engines. Nickel alloys however, have a high melting point, so not easy to cast. Titanium alloys, commonly used in die casting. Corrosion resistant and possess high strength to weight ratios. However, they are difficult to cast, as titanium has a high melting point, low fluidity and a tendency to oxidize at high temperatures. So, we have studied metals for casting, the ferrous and non-ferrous casting alloys. Thank you.